Jamie Kovac. You may remember me from NBC's American Gladiators as Fury. I'm training right now for the U.S. Skeleton Team, which is kind of like luge, but head first on your stomach down the bobsled track. So this last year, I tore my ACL, had reconstructive surgery, did an experimental rehab program, and at six months, just missed qualifying for the U.S. Bobsled Team, and instead, turned my attention to skeleton, which is a little bit more exciting since I get to drive. So let me show you a little bit of what I do to train for that. All right, today I'm going to show you some of the Olympic lifts that I do. Most women don't do too many of the Olympic lifts, partly because they've never been trained to, partly because a lot of women think that if they start training heavy that they're going to get big and bulky. Um, but honestly, the lifts are really important for speed and power, which translates into explosiveness, vertical jump, and speed. So if you're a sprinter, um, with the track team right now for bobsledding and for skeleton, it's the most important part. Match. So let's just start with the bar nice and light just to make sure, check with my technique and warm up a little bit. And do hang snatch. Start here, make sure your back's flat. We're going to do some hang cleans now, and hang cleans are really important for explosive power. So if you're doing anything with a vertical jump, if you're a high jumper, basketball player, they're extremely important. Um, they're also going to make you much faster, and they're also going to develop leg strength. So the important thing here is we're going to do these, is to really pop with your hips, and then drop down underneath the weight. snatch high pull so you're going to use a snatch grip and the nice thing about these is that you're still using the explosive power of your legs but you're not limited in weight now by what you can lift overhead and hold so they're actually a lot better you're going to develop more of that power in your legs that you take some weight off of it and go all the way down so that you're working the full range of the exercise instead of doing four inch squats which is only working a very small portion of your legs. As long as you're gonna do it, you might as well do it right. Thanks a lot, this is a typical leg workout for me. This is one of the lighter off days. Um, but mostly what I'm doing right now is to increase my speed and strength and power for skeleton for regular sports. 